Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Janika and I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands. If you are wondering why I look like this and why I'm wearing orange, that is because today it is the 27th of April and that means that it is King's Day. King's Day is a yearly celebration and it kind of makes the Dutch people go crazy Everyone's basically out and about on the streets and partying or well actually the partying already started last night for a lot of people when it was King's Night. Um, I didn't go out myself but it wasn't the easiest to sleep last night because we live quite in the city center and I believe there's a small festival close to our home so yeah it wasn't a very peaceful and quiet night. But oh well, luckily this is only once a year. So what is King's Day, you might ask? The purpose of this holiday is to commemorate King Willem Alexander's birthday, who is the king of the Netherlands. So basically it is like the biggest birthday celebration ever because the whole country is out and celebrating it. And it's also a public holiday. It's a celebration that is held all over the country and well, mostly probably in the cities, but I'm sure also in smaller towns as well. Even yesterday when I went to my gym, they had decorated that as well. So yeah, it is definitely something pretty much the whole country celebrates and it's very fun. And during King's Day, there's different festivals and fun fairs and events and there's so much you can do and participate in. But to be honest, the celebration is also just happening on the streets themselves. People are just walking around and there's a good atmosphere. Personally, I don't think you need to necessarily buy the ticket to a festival to enjoy King's Day, because like said, it is all around. And just, I'm sure if I would now walk outside from the door, I would pretty much immediately bump into people who are celebrating. I believe the biggest celebration is held in Amsterdam, or I'm not sure. I heard that the king is this year visiting Rotterdam for King's Day. So maybe the partying in Rotterdam this year is even bigger, I'm not sure. But I decided not to go to Amsterdam this year because to be honest, it gets very, very crowded. And just trying to get there with public transport is, yeah. It is a struggle. <laughs> so I decided to stay at home here in Leiden. And yeah, to be honest, it is celebrated here as well. And even though it's crowded, it's not as crowded as in Amsterdam. And for me, I think I prefer that. So if you are planning a trip to the Netherlands, visiting at the end of April could be a pretty good option because then you would still have all the tulip fields and you could also be a part of celebrating King's Day. So it's quite a fun time when to visit the country. But then of course, if you don't like very big crowds and it being very loud then maybe it's not for you and you should choose a bit of a more calm time of the year to come and visit. So today's plan is to honestly just go outside and see what the atmosphere is like here in Leiden. I'm gonna visit different spots here in the city and you know just be a part of the party. But before going outside, I wanna try this Dutch pastry. It is called a tompus, and it is also in the orange color fitting for King's Day. And yeah, it's basically a pastry that is apparently often eaten during Dutch holidays. I've never had this before, so I'm gonna start my King's Day celebration with trying this. And then after that, let's head outside. Okay, here goes. Mm. 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 It's not too sweet. Yeah, it has a, some kind of cream in the middle, I think. It's good. But yeah, let's go and celebrate King's Day. There's a few people today here. There are so many bikes, oh my god. <laughs> As you can see, the atmosphere in the city is really lovely during King's Day. The city has been decorated, there are several different stages all over the city and lots of people are also out on their boats. You can find different vendors selling food and drinks as well out on the streets. Luckily, the weather is great, so the terraces are also full of people. It's 
free, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's over there. So yeah, let's go and try our luck. Hopefully we can enter. This bike is being Dutch level 100. <laughs> There's even a baby seat. <laughs> some dinner and we came to this nice terrace restaurant called Annie's and we have a really nice spot right by the water and yeah it's right in the center so we can hear and see the partying from here which is nice. now been walking around for several hours and it's been really fun i'm gonna relax at home for a little bit and wait for it to get dark and then i'm gonna do one more walk outside i'm back outside now and i'm with Delia this time and we're seeing what the vibe's like now in the evening time yeah this one is cute back home it was very much fun and yeah first I went out with my boyfriend and met up with some friends as well and now I went out with another friend I think I'm gonna go and wash off my makeup now and then start going to bed because yeah it is about 10 30 p.m at the moment and I actually need to work tomorrow so gotta be early up I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a spontaneous thing. I wasn't actually planning on doing that first, but I decided that actually I do want to share King's Day with you guys because I thought it would be fun. Let me know, um, have you ever been to King's Day? Probably if you're someone like me who lives here in the Netherlands, you have. And if not, do you maybe have some similar celebrations back home in your country or in the country where you're living? Back home in Finland, we have something called Vappu which is the celebration of the 1st of May. And I feel like Bappu has very similar vibes to King's Day somehow. But yeah, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and leave down a comment if you have anything on your heart. And remember to subscribe to my channel to see also my future videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.